So for this video, I'll be covering how to use VCCV English voice banks in OpenUtau. Just a disclaimer that this is not an OpenUtau tutorial. I'll only be covering the information that's relevant to this video. So if you're a beginner, I recommend you understand the basics before we start. Neither Lyric Parser or the Phonomizer produces immediate perfect results, and you will need to do a little bit of editing on your part for the best possible sound. Whichever method you ultimately decide to use will come down to personal preference. And with that, let's get started. We'll be using the VCCV English Phonomizer in OpenOtel, which I recently helped overhaul, so it produces pretty good results without too much editing. So step one is going to be to import your MIDI or VSQ or what have you and edit the formatting. So here, choose a VCCV English voice bank. There's several recording styles for Utah English. Make sure the one you're using is VCCV or it won't work with this phonomizer. Select the VCCV English phonomizer. Here you can change the resampler, and I'll open it up. If everything's working correctly, you should see the phoneme crossfades down here at the bottom. And now I'll edit the formatting to open a Tao style. So in Vocaloid, you use a hyphen to break words with multiple syllables, but in open and tau, we use a plus sign. So what you do is add the entire word to the first syllable box, and then use the plus sign to indicate carrying over to the next syllable. So just like the Lyric Parser plugin, we can change where the syllable break occurs, and in this case, we do that with an asterisk here. Hello, hello. So I'll go through and do all of this now. I'm pressing tab to make it go a little faster. Okay, so now the formatting is correct. Step two is going to be to make any adjustments to the parsing logic and phonemes. So some of this might be confusing if you're new and you're not super familiar with the structure of VCCV. I have a guide below that helps explain and breaks down how to use VCCV and how it's structured. So if you want to check that out, that can help. Overall, I recommend that you have some understanding because this step can have a big impact on the results of the singing. So to start, I'm going to change the pronunciation of yeah here. So there's two methods for this. You'll probably end up using both of them. Firstly, we can put in brackets here and just indicate what phonemes we'd rather it use for this word. Or we can come down here to these phoneme boxes and just manually change the sounds that it's using. Here, I think this would sound better as an unvoiced consonant, so I'm going to use the syllable transition version of this sound, which should produce a pause in anticipation of the consonant, but without fully voicing the consonant. And this is a, an edit I like to do pretty often when I'm working with English voice banks. However, this does depend on the configuration of the voice bank. Some voice banks are not configured for this to work. You'll end up hearing something like erd instead of erd because the way it's configured. But in Kumi's case, I have configured her, so this is unvoiced. I'm gonna edit this to be a D sound instead of a T sound and get it sound better. Just want to tell me. 
Again, I'd like this to be unvoiced. Best walk to Atomic. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna edit the pronunciation of tomato here a bit. I'm gonna change this phoneme here on heading. Here, I'm gonna edit the pronunciation of Fortnite. In the description, you can find a VCCV English phoneme guide listing all the available sounds and their respective symbols, which you may find helpful for this part. So there really wasn't that many things to change in this UST, but I will show some other examples of correcting the logic. So here's an example that happens from time to time in the current version of the phonemizer. If there's a uh, CCV, so a parsed CV here, plus, you can sometimes mess up the logic of the VCC preceding it. So here, for example, this one should be a syllable transition CC. Here's another example. This is actually a double Z sound occurring here. So I would rather this just be shade without this Z here. So I just changed it to shade, and that removes that box at the end. And now I'll manually change this to a syllable ending D, and I'll make this one... And that sounds more natural to me. Here's another one. I don't really want this double M in here. So... But you sort of have to argue with the phonemizer a bit to try and get it to remove that box I don't want. So I'll try just putting in I. And that seems to have done it. I'll change this to a syllable ending. I'm. I'm. That sounds good to me. I think that about covers it for editing the logic and the broad pronunciation. The newest version of the phonemizer requires very little editing to the logic, which is great. And now step three, I'm gonna go in and do some fine tuning. So one thing you'll definitely want to edit is areas where there's a lot of consonants together. They tend to get swallowed up in the crossfades, so what you want to do is just give them a little bit of breathing room. Just kind of space it out a little bit. I'll give it some space here. And again here. I want to visibly see the pause here in the waveform. Right now. Yeah, that's good to me. Again here. Space to give it some breathing room. Oh, just walked out. Here's another thing useful for editing English. If you come down to the velocity parameter, you can speed up the play speed. Oh, just walked out. Another edit you'll want to make is to volume. A lot of the times, these CCs will sound unnecessarily loud, so I'll bring down the volume on them a touch. Oh, just walked out. 
Okay, there's a lot of consonants happening here, so I'm gonna space them out. You'll end up listening to a little part over and over, making small adjustments. My friend just got done. And I'm just gonna go in and do the rest on my own and continue making adjustments. Okay, so I spent a couple of minutes doing some edits, and this could sound even better if I worked on it even more, but here's what I have now. We got a number one victory royale, yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Ten kills on the board right now, just walked to Tomato Town. My friend just got done. I revived him, now we're heading southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park streets, look at the map, go to the market. Take me to your Xbox to play Fortnite today. We can go to Misty Mar, but not Loot Lake. I'd really like to chug chug with you. We can be pro Fortnite gamers. So that was just with a little bit of editing. But it sounds pretty good. Another problem you might encounter while editing is resampler rendering problems. For example, here. Thinking. You can hear. Uh, sort of warbliness on the th the thing, th and that's because the resampler I'm using, TN Funds, is a looping resampler, and some samples, namely like diphthongs, are difficult to make a clean loop. So, what it's doing is looping a section of the vowel. Thing but it may not be a clean loop. So one great feature that OpenTAL has is being able to switch um, resampler on the fly. So if I switch to world line for the CVs here, the ones that are being stretched the most, world line is a stretching resampler. So it will stretch it instead of looping it. Thinking. So that's another problem you may encounter and how to fix it as you're working. And from here you can go on to do your pitch bends and your vibratos and all that fancy stuff, but the bulk of the work is done. And that about covers using VCCV English in OpenTAL. I hope you found this helpful. I've also created a tutorial on using VCCV English in Classic Utau using the Lyric Parser plugin, so check that out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, please leave a like, and comment if you have any questions.